Welcome to Reread, where I'm rereading through the expanded universe in chronological order, still on the comic books here. It is Darth Maul, son of Dothamir, uh, one of the last Dark Horse comic books uh, to come out, and one that people also say is canon as well, because it takes place, or it's from episodes from the Clone Wars, unpublished or lost episodes or whatnot. I don't know. I don't even know if they ever published these then. When the series got continued, I don't think he ever published them. Uh, to me, these, I mean, officially, they set foot in both the EU and canon, but to me, they're more EU because unless, unless I'm mistaken, because I didn't watch the new Clone Wars series, did they make these episodes? Did they ever make them? If so, I would argue that it belongs solely in Legends, but officially, it is in both. So, let's get to this. Is it good? Well, this takes place after the episode where uh, I believe Savage is killed and Darth Maul is captured. And it was one of the Clone Wars episodes, pretty good. And the comic book picks up from there. So, Darth Maul is captured. He and Sidious have some great dialogue. You know, Maul's a little, you know, jealous because Dooku, this old man, is the one that replaced him. Nothing like, you know, Maul. Maul was a war machine of hate. And Dooku is more refined and quiet and everything and cunning. And he doesn't think that uh, Dooku is that powerful. Of course, Dooku shoots him with some Sith. Uh, you know, Sith electricity there to kind of, you know, give him give him an idea of how dangerous he can be, but it, that that that's pretty good. Uh, there is uh, Darth Maul does escape from here, and the goal this I think this is all manufactured because the goal is to have him escape uh, and keep him on the run, keep him on the run because they want to get uh, Mother Talzan. Talzan, uh, she's the Sith witch that is kind of Darth Maul's mother, or, who, or he considers mother, and Palpatine wants her out of the picture. So they're trying to flush her out, Mother Talzone. And they know Darth Maul will lead them to her. And sure enough, Darth Maul assembles his little band of armies and rebels he has. Grievous comes and wipes the floor with them. And Grievous is shown in a really strong light here, unlike the Clone Wars uh, TV show. But he's shown really strong here, just annihilates almost his entire, Maul's entire army. Maul escapes again, but this time again it's on purpose. And he finally reaches out to Mother Talzon to, to help. She's going to give him some new mercenaries and everything, some Knight Brothers. Uh, and then that's when they're going to make their big attack. Dooku, Palpatine come in and Grievous. Uh, Grievous is just a you know war machine going off on everyone. Dooku has a great fight with all these Knight Brothers. He went... There are plenty of you. Yes, you are strong. He went, but I will let you know, you will lose. And one by one, uh, Dooku's taking him out, which is pretty cool. Uh, later on, Sidious, of course, uh, Darth Maul finds out he's been betrayed, or, you know, set up, I guess. And Mother Talzon thinks that she can, you know, well, they capture Dooku. They end up capturing Dooku. I skipped that part. They capture Dooku. He tries to turn Dooku toward his side. Dooku, at first pretends he's on his side, only to get closer to Mother Talzon. But the thing is, it's a double cross by Darth Maul anyway. They weren't going to trust uh, Dooku in the first place, which makes sense. Uh, Maul wouldn't be that stupid to believe Dooku would automatically switch sides. But anyway, when uh, Sidious comes, he has a big force battle with Mother Talzon. You know, uh, force lightning comes out, and there's there's a battle going on. She, uh, Darth Maul, puts his dark side essence. I don't understand. But he says, here, mother, take my strength. And he grabs a hold of her to kind of fend off from now Dooku, who's back. Dooku, it's, it's weird. Mother Talzon, this is another weird thing about it. Uh, she was a spirit who possessed Count Dooku. And then when, when she was defeated by Sidious in Dooku's body, she came out of Dooku's body into flesh. I don't, I don't understand that. Sith, Sith magic, right? Darth Sith, Sith magic, or, or Dothamur witch magic, let's say. Which is fine. But uh, anyway, they have this battle. She knows she's going to lose, so she just sacrifices herself so Maul can get away. Because this time, they were going to kill Maul. They were going to end Maul for real. So Maul has to escape again, and uh, Darth Sidious and Dooku together team up to kill Mother Talzon, which is the whole plan. Overall, the series is fine. Uh, I remember reading it the first time and enjoying it. Now I still love it. It is weird that it is part of the canon, like I said. I, unless, unless Filoni made reference to it or did episodes on it. As far as I know, the new canon never touched this. Only the expanded universe has brought this into their story. But it is dual canon. 
It is canon, and it came out during the expanded universe time too, which was the first EU first. So, I mean, you know, it, officially it's both, but for me it's more expanded universe, I feel, even reading it. But who knows? Um, good comic book nonetheless. I think it's hard to find, sadly. I got the individual issues, but I hear the uh, trade and stuff like that are super expensive, and that kind of sucks. It's, it's a pretty decent series. All right, folks, that's all for now. See you next time.